fun facts, Cusco lies higher than Machu Picchu. Yes, thousand species of butterflies and an occasional jaguar. Whoa. I'm Camila, I zoom in on countries alphabetically, and today we're zooming in on... Peru. And I received some help from Emmanuel. He has his own YouTube channel where he shares his passion for geography. He will start off this video with some facts on Peru. Welcome, Emmanuel. Hello, my beautiful audience. Welcome back again to another episode of this video. So I'd like to thank my beautiful sister, Camilla, for giving me this opportunity to be on this episode. And this episode talks about Peru. So let's start. Peru, Peru is a country located in the south part of America. That is in the... That is the southern American continent. It lies it lies with countries like you know countries like Bolivia and Ecuador in the north, east by Brazil, south by Chile, southeast by Bolivia, and south and west by the Pacific Ocean. It is the third largest country. Brazil being the first, and Argentina being the second. Eight official languages: Spanish. And other national languages include you have the Aymara and Quechua. The total size or area of Peru land is 486,244 square kilometers square. Lima, Lima is its capital city. And other cities include you have the Pura, we have the Pura, and we have the Ica, and we have the Sulana, and many more. We have many islands in, in Peru, but major some. Some of them include, we have the Blanca, we have the Soto, we have San Lorenzo, we have Matapalo, we have Takeo, and so on. The currency of Peru is Peruvian so. Its calling code is plus 51. So I would like to end here. So I need to thank my sister for giving me this opportunity to be on this video. So thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Like he said, Peru is quite large. It comes in number 19 in area, larger than Chad and Angola. With 33 million people, Peru comes in number 42 in population, about the same as Saudi Arabia, and that makes the population density 25 people per square kilometers, and Peru comes in number 156 in population density. Not that dense. Life expectancy has risen with 28.7 years since 1960. That's a whole extra generation. And life expectancy now is 76.7 years. Let's explore the capital city first. Okay, the capital city lies in the middle of the country, along the coasts. Here it is, Lima. And this is a huge city. Let's just dive right in. Ooh, what is this? Museo de Arte de Lima, Art Museum. Anfiteatro del Parque de la Exposición. Oh, it looks like they have some huge roads here. Plaza Miguel Grau, a monument of a Peruvian naval hero. Wow, look at these large roads here. Yeah, there are many people living here. I have heard there are some great places to eat here in Lima. I'm not really sure where they are, but I know there is good food here. Casa de Cajamarca, or maybe Lima Centro. What I like about this city is, look at the mountains in the background. That looks amazing. I like that. Okay, let's take a look in Street View. We are somewhere in Lima and they have ice cream, I think. It says postres, that's dessert. Oh, and they have some good food here. I understand chicken. I think that's steak. Well, you can look at the picture. Nuggets, some other kind of chicken, I think. You're using the face masks. Wonder if they still use them. This is from more than a year ago. We don't use them in Norway anymore now. Oh, that's a nice park. Looks like it's a park for, for residents, maybe. Oh, I imagine it's hot in Peru. Any green plants? I do want to have a look at the coastline of Lima. I realize it's outside of the city, but this coastline. See, the coastline lies lower than the city, actually. This is a hill. I wonder if people go here to lie on the beach, too. Here, maybe. Costa Verde, beach. Oh, wow, that's what it looks like. Just look at that. Beach lies really low, and then the city lies on a hill again. Let's take a look at other places of Peru. Where do I want to go to first? Let's just go straight to the jungle, like here, maybe. To the Amazon rainforests. 
Let's see if something's happening here. Oh yeah, this is the Amazon. The water is brown. Forest is very green. So many plants. And here we have two canoes. Look at that jungle. It looks so thick and hard to walk through. I've actually never been in a jungle before. I've been around the equator before, but not like this, not a jungle like this. Wow, impressive. I really think it is. Next, we have to see some mountains because all of this is just tall, tall mountains. Maybe, maybe we can go here somewhere. Check out the mountains, maybe that one. Okay, oh wow. I did not expect to see this. Green grass, and here are mountains. Look at that, these are the highlands. I imagine it being a bit cold here. It looks like it's cold. Are they sheep? They could be sheep. Wow, look at this landscape. It is so beautiful. That's a great picture. Here's some snow in the background. That's a little river, probably coming from the surrounding mountains. Very clear water. Looks like they're hiking here. This is a great picture. I love this. I think that if I'd seen this picture, I would probably not guess it was in Peru. Really nice. This is a great picture. Oh yeah. Wow, when I think about Peru, I immediately think about the Andes Mountains, Lake Titicaca, and the coastline. Peru has a very high landscape diversity. So let's dive in and let's start with an elevation map. That's a good elevation map. There's a lot going on here. We can divide the country in three topographical regions. First, the coasts, which is this band here. Some 50 rivers stream out from this coast, but even though there is lots of water streaming out from the coast, the coast is a dry area. There is desert, pretty much covering all of the coastal area. You can see it on the map. It looks golden yellow. This picture shows what it looks like right here. Okay, over to the second topographical region, the highlands, the Andes Mountains. And for that, we need to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, the Andes runs on the west coast of South America, all the way from southern Chile and Argentina to Colombia. And here they are in Peru. In reality, we can further divide them into many different branches because it is a complex mountain range. The three most prominent branches are Cordillera Occidental, Central and Oriental, as you can see on this picture. They all meet here in the southeast and this is where we can find Lake Titicaca, one of the highest lakes in the world at 3,812 meters, also lying in Bolivia. And here you can find this large Titicaca water frog. To get to the highest peak of Peru, we have to move to the west, to these snow-capped mountains. It's called Huascaran, and the highest peak is 6,768 meters. That's pretty high. Okay, on to the last topographic region, the rainforest, or selva in Spanish. And next to the coastline, this is where we can find the lower elevations of the country, although they can still be pretty high. And what rainforest are we talking about here? Yes, the Amazon rainforest. This is actually the region that covers most of the country, but also where the fewest people live. This is where you can find a huge biodiversity, but I'll come back to that later in the travel suggestions section. A large life creating factor here is this river. Of course, the Amazon River, the longest river in Peru and the longest or second longest river in the world, depending on how you measure it. Not only this river is the reason behind Peru's large biodiversity, it is also the fact that this rainforest region has different altitudes and climates that makes room for many different kinds of animals and plants. And they enjoy the abundant amounts of rain that falls down in this area. See, Peru has many different kinds of landscapes. It's astonishing. Opposite side time. I measure 20,000 kilometers from the capital city, Lima. Move it around the globe. Maybe we'll land on land again this time. Let's see. Actually, yes, just barely. We're in Cambodia, near the Gulf of Thailand. Oh, there is so much to do in Peru. Yeah, of course you have heard of this place. The site of Inca ruins built in the 15th century, elevated 2,430 meters high in the Andes Mountains, above the Urabamba River Valley with large stone walls, attracting many tourists. Machu Picchu. This is among the most famous attractions in all of South America. To get here, you can walk the Inca Trail. 
This trail is actually three overlapping trails. It usually takes four to five days for trackers to complete the classic Inca trail, but it is possible to complete it in two days on a shorter trail. You can start your hike in this nearby city, Cusco. Just look at it. It lies high in the Andes mountains. Fun facts, Cusco lies higher than Machu Picchu. Yes, this is at 3,400 meters, almost a thousand meters higher. This was the capital of the Inca Empire and is designated the historical capital of Peru because there are many historical buildings here from colonial times and from the Incas. Cusco, the Inca Trail and Machu Picchu receive many tourists. Now I have another suggestion for you that receives less tourists and it is a whole other place, namely the Amazon rainforests. You can take a 30 minute flight from Cusco to Puerto Maldonado. This is a gateway to the Amazon. Here you can visit the Tambo Pata National Reserve. The biodiversity is high here, as I already mentioned. There are otters, caimans, toucans, giant anteater, tapir, about a thousand species of butterflies, and an occasional jaguar. Whoa. Okay, these were some suggestions. There is a ton more to do in Peru, like the Sacred Valley, the heart of the Inca Empire, and the beautiful city Arequipa. Feel free to let us know what is your favorite place in Peru in the comment section. Okay, these were some geographical facts on Peru. Peru is a beautiful country with deserts, mountains, rainforests, giant frog, rivers, and plenty of places to visit. If you follow this channel, you may have noticed that I have not posted in a while. I won't go into why, but I can tell you that I miss doing it and I wish I had more time and energy to do it. You will hear from me though, because next time we're actually staying in South America, we're gonna go to Paraguay. And we're zooming out. Thank you for watching guys.